How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the Reptileverse. Sorry if I'm not my usual self today. If you haven't noticed, I have COVID right now, so I feel really awful. But I have to do all my animal room stuff. As I'm sure you know, snakes don't really care if you are sick or not. They want to be fed and have their enclosures cleaned anyway, so I need to fix that timer because our power went out a couple of weeks ago and I just haven't reset their lighting schedule since then. I mean, it's still 12 on, 12 off. I just like it when all the lights go on and off at the same time. <laughs> so I'm going to fix that. Um, some like news with the animals. Hopefully the tegus will go outside for a little bit. They won't go outside for very long, obviously, but they're gonna, when I finish their enclosure in the next couple of weeks, they'll be out there at least for the end of the summer. Oh my goodness. Um, and right now I'm redoing this stack of enclosures. So the Sirius is in a holding bin right now while I'm cleaning out his enclosure here. And then I'm gonna use a mixture of topsoil and cypress mulch to actually set up the enclosure and I'm going to use the universal rocks and some live plants so it'll be really naturalistic and look really really nice so gonna get on with it <laughs> yeah as you can see this is like all being cleaned out I have to leave the uh, chlorhexidine on there for a minute before I can or for actually a couple of minutes but uh, I have to leave it on there before I can clean it off and then I'm going to spray it down with water and then I can add the substrate. After I add the substrate, I'm gonna spray the mite treatment on it. Uh, they don't have mites anymore, but it's just as a precaution, just to be safe. Yeah, so we're gonna keep going and get it done. Okay, so, I mean, obviously this is not a very naturalistic looking hide, but it's the best I got and it works. Uh, but I am continuing with the Universal Rocks. Uh, theme sort of well I think I might kind of rearrange this from how I did last time just for some enrichment form I am also adding some live plants I have a pothos here I have a couple of what are these a dragon asset I have one of these although I think I'm gonna use that in the retic enclosure uh, I think I'm going to just use one of these and the pothos in the berm enclosure. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to put them in there. Just kind of fiddle around see where I want them. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so this is how I'm setting up this enclosure. So I have the water bowl a uh, little bit off center from middle. Uh, I have his, this is the rock that he uses as a basket platform already. So I'm just going to leave that there. I uh, have one of the uh, dragon asset or whatever they are plants there, the pothos here, and I have one artificial plant in here, and it doesn't look as good as the real plants, but adds some color and it kind of fills in that space nicely, so I'm going to fill up that water bowl, and we're going to add Sirius back in here. Alright, so there's some fresh water in that bowl now, and this is all set up, so I think it's ready for Sirius. Um, this enclosure is probably a little bit on the small side for him, he can still stretch out. I'm along the front side of this enclosure, but I'd like it to be in something a little bit bigger. So sooner rather than later, I'm going to upgrade this whole stack of enclosures. Don't know what brand I'm going to be getting, but we can figure that out later. <laughs> uh, might get custom reptile habitats. I don't know. I really like the spacers that custom reptile habitats has, the uh, maximum reptile spacers that have like the magnetic um, covers over where the lights are. I like those a lot, uh, but I also like things like the dragon house enclosures so i don't know i'm gonna figure out what i'm gonna get and we'll go from there but yeah for now for the next uh couple of months couple of weeks uh this will be fine for now Holy. we're being sassy right now why are you being sassy All right, bud. I got you out like five minutes ago and you were fine. All right, we'll just, I don't really feel like getting fit, you know, having COVID and all. So I'm just... There. You're fine.
tiêu Come on bud Okay, why are you coming out? I make you this beautiful enclosure Why don't you want to explore it? There we go. Hey, don't lose your mind today. I haven't seen a puppy like this for a while, actually. It's usually pretty laid back. Pretty good program, Snake. Oh well, we all have good days and bad days. I understand, bud. Just explore. Actually, it looks like you might be starting to go into shed. Oh, that that explains it. <laughs> yeah, he's going kind of into blue, so that explains why his colors are a little bit dulled out and why he's being all huffy. You can't see me, bud. Yeah. Yeah, this enclosure is definitely too small for him, so he'll probably be the first to be upgraded. Well, when I say first to be upgraded, I'm going to try and buy all these enclosures at the same time. Set them up all together, but we'll be one of the first to be moved in. Can't wait to see this dude in a big four foot PVC. Man, he looks awesome with that Universal Rocks. And tomorrow's feeding day, so we get something to eat. Wait, no, it's not. Today's Monday. Day after tomorrow is feeding day. Hey, bud. Okay, we're moving on to the Reesick now. He is a handful. That's why I didn't film him. Uh, it's been a while since I've done any programs, so he's not used to constantly being touched and handled. But I'm getting all this decor out. Oh, man, I love this portable. Gonna clean all that off, but first. Hey, dude. Still exploring. Uh, first, I need to really clean this enclosure out, so that's what I'm gonna do. First, now. Oh man, I'm so glad I'm done with paper towels. I hate, hate paper towels in enclosures. Editing reptile verse here. I feel like I should point out that I don't mean this like against other reptile keepers i definitely see the appeal for using paper towels i just mean in my personal collection i really don't like having to use paper towel i just don't think it's very aesthetically pleasing but i can definitely see in like a bigger like breeding operation which i don't have how they can be more useful so nothing against people who use paper towels just not for me but yeah so we're gonna really clean this enclosure this enclosure is also a mess that probe got yanked out of place, so I'm gonna stick that back in there. Yeah. So we're gonna clean this enclosure out like we did the one up here, and then we're gonna fill it with dirt, and then we're gonna do the plants. Okay, so this is what I've got for the retic enclosure right now. I have that live plant over there, the bigger Universal Rocks water bowl. Just that decoration piece and this hide and this plant. I need to go out and buy some more like big branches to put across his enclosure so he can climb on because retics really do like to climb. So I'm gonna do that. Just not today because I shouldn't be going anywhere since I have COVID. Um, but yeah, I also ordered some cork. I'm gonna put a piece of cork up here and probably like cork around in here somewhere. But yeah, so. This is the retake enclosure for now, naturalistic. So now I've just uh, sprayed the mite treatment in here and I'm gonna wait for that to settle. Then we'll put James back in. For the last time, you get food the day after tomorrow. Stop looking at me like that. All right. I've now moved him over here. Just got the last of that stuck shed off of him, so. Well, except for 
on that last little bit of his lower section, but he'll get that off himself now. He's got better humidity in this enclosure. He looks pretty good in here. she wrote for this video everybody we upgraded these two enclosures uh we were going to do a third but dark eyes escaped she broke the track off of her enclosure that's why i'm holding so that enclosure is not going to be upgraded that enclosure is going to try and be fixed and if it can't be fixed it's going to be trashed um no i don't know where dark eyes is she's probably in that back corner under a mattress like she was last time she escaped uh she's done this like three times not super worried I'll probably go stick my head down there and she'll be right there and I'll just pull her out and I guess put her in a bin or a 40 gallon with a locking lid until I can buy a new enclosure. So yeah, the joys of being a snake keeper. Anyway, uh, these two guys are doing good. They seem to have settled in. Both of them are just sitting under their heat. But yeah, really glad I was able to do this video. It was really good to uh, make these enclosures naturalistic again. Uh, they're not bioactive because they don't have a cleanup crew, but it was really good to do that again. Really good to see them in these environments. I, despite what some people may think, I don't like keeping my animals on paper towels unless I have to. Uh, last time it was because I had mites in the first place anyway, and then I just didn't switch them back. Uh, but I know for certain I don't have mites again. I, it was probably about, probably been about two or three months since I had mites last. So yeah, we're mite free, enclosures are clean, they're naturalistic, there's some dirt, some cypress mulch, and both the snakes look great in those enclosures. So if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. If you haven't done so already, highly consider subscribing to the Reptileverse, there's new videos uh, once a week. I uh, don't really have a set schedule yet, I'm going to try and release this video a couple of days before I released uh, the last one last week, uh, see if people like that more. Uh, but yeah, without any further ado, in the uh, description box below, you'll find a link to my Patreon page, a link to the Discord server, and a link to go support US Arc. Go show all three of those some love, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, YouTube.